honey. Oh, oh, honey. Guys, I usually sit here and I have to do all the work and I'm just like. Yo, I take us again. Fall like your limb. What's good guys, it's your girl Simba here back with another video. As you can see from the title, I'm doing a makeup video today and I am recreating Scott Bond's makeup look that he did on Tati. So, I'm just excited. I feel like I've seen a few people do it. Like, I'm not one of the first to do it. A few people have recreated this look. And it's just, every time I've seen the, the aftermath, it's just, it's just so, so flawless almost on it, everyone that's recreated it. So, I feel like I want to try it. And listen, I'm so scared because if I'm the one that tries it and I'm the only one that fails and I'm the only one that looks crazy, I am going to be so disappointed because clearly I won't be able to follow instructions. So, I've got the video here and I'm ready to just recreate this look. Before I do, um, I want to talk about this hair. This hair is Two Faces by K. I'm going to link their Instagram page and their website in the description box below. Um, the inches are 18 inch frontal and I think 22, 22, 24, 24. So, 222 is 224s. So, I'm ready to get straight into this video. I'm going to put my hair up. Video or something uh, like that. Yeah, you guys, I'm gonna sing for you at the end. If you haven't already, please like, please subscribe, and please press the notification bell down below so you know when I have videos out. Thank you. Okay, now we can get straight into this video. <laughs> So he takes the concealer. Like I'm gonna do some makeup. Like I'm not gonna pretend. Like just drench me. My skin eats makeup. Like it really does. It did your makeup once before, and it was like that. You don't use primer. For what? I don't. What do you mean for what? I don't really need it. To fill everything in. Wow, this is a look. I like the contouring and everything to do the work underneath the foundation, so you don't see it. Now, this is everybody's like, where do I contour? So I'm just watching what he's doing. Funny enough, I genuinely like a bright under eye. So I hope I like this look. I hope it goes well. A light right all the way up to the edge. Really? Sometimes you see really bad nose contour and it looks like they're behind bars. Okay, couple brushes. Just put it there. This is what I look like. If we're going to talk about Jennifer, Jennifer calls this a cat paw. Oh. Because she goes, look, it's like a cat paw. I love that. So anyway. So he's blending it out now. Problem is, we don't have the exact same brushes. Look, I'm going to be hella goofy in this video because I'm actually very nervous. So he starts cat pawing. Let me actually do it the way he's doing it. Most contour and it looks like they're behind bars. Okay, couple brushes. Let's let's talk about yes. brushes for a second. If we're going to talk about Jennifer, Jennifer calls this a cat paw. Okay. Because oh. she goes, look, it's like a cat paw. I love cat paw. So anyway, um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out. So he's working. Yeah, now I'm starting to feel like that guy. Okay. So we're cat pawing. Okay, we're gonna put a little tree in right underneath your nose. So I have you can okay. I have it in action. Yes. So what I do is just gently watch when I turn your nose just a little bit. He blends it up. I have really great new lashes. I can't wait to share all this stuff right. with you. I know. Why do I feel like I I'm the first person this is not gonna go well for? Anyway, let's not be let me not be a negative Nancy. Um I have never in the history of my makeup life applied concealer first. Thank God I didn't use the NARS one because this LA girl is already kind of drying. Also guys, I will let you know if it looks good on camera but actually doesn't look good in real life because I tend that I, f I tend to find that happens. Um, no, this is such good timing because I'm so why I always hit the chin mm -hmm. is because you want this to come forward. Do you even change the brush you use for the chin? So let me also change the brush you use for my chin. It makes things sharper. Alright, Jaws. Okay, so he's already contouring, but I Okay, he goes this way. So let me... Okay, honey. Jaws. The jaws of life. Brush similar to that. 
just smaller so i'm gonna do the same i'll take my contour color and i'll literally literally come down but i really hope it comes out good i'm gonna start her neck I think I put a little bit too much, but it's okay. That's what blending is for. This is the bit I've really done poorly, but I didn't know that there was so much contour on the freaking brush. But it's okay, because we're gonna keep blending. If you see the dress I'm wearing, it's covered in contour. Anyway, moving on, because we don't this have up. this time. Yeah, Sure do. I know. Whole camp. Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, so he said that the the problem people have is they put too much contour on their nose. So we literally just put a little bit, and then she he I said she sorry he put it down to like a V, which I do anyway when I contour. To be honest, this is not exactly how I contour my nose, but it's pretty much pretty much the same. He basically overlines his lip with contour. He said, Don't overline it to death. But you know, I don't listen. <laughs> and my favorite thing, like my favorite part of makeup, one of them is to overline my lips. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, honey. Just like this is playtime. Hey, wait, he's putting foundation in her chest, which I, I, I can't be asked for that. I'm yes, sorry, so that. Right? Yes. I'll put it on my neck, yes. maybe. Like, wait, I use a brush to apply like foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna use my my so mask good. brush. He, where? This man. <laughs> the bull. Oh, oh, honey. Okay, you already put too much. Okay, he's brushing upwards. He's just basically being hella delicate. And I'm just the most heavy. How is he he's just he's just he's an he's just literally going anywhere he feels. He's blending and she this is taking a lot less foundation than I actually feel. So okay. I'm seeing I'm seeing the vision. I'm seeing the vision, guys. Okay, so instead of just eliminating that lip, we're just patting over gently. So he's using a cream blush, but I don't have a cream blush. I have a powder brush. I know some people use lipstick, but I don't, honestly, I don't want to use that chance. So I'm just going to apply the blush. I'm not gonna add too much because it is like a powder and I haven't added any of my powders yet. Um, but it's okay. That is the one thing that I've noticed and I, I will like try to keep it. What I'm doing here is just I'm gonna do blend this first. I just don't know how you put highlighter on the brows that are not even done, you know, but okay. Okay, tell me more. Spray makeup? No, I'll just blend that around. Okay, so we're just a little bit of powder. Amazing, then go slow and take your time with it. You want to go like this. You just kind of just flat with it. This is the trick that makes... He's going in with the lip liner now. Just like clothing, you have to look at proportion. You got a real turn in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. And now into the... Oh, this is like makeup. Is 
Okay, so who does a glossy look? Like, he doesn't even put anything matte underneath it. He put like a nudie gloss, but then it had a bit of shimmer. So I'm going to mix two of my Kiko lip glosses. Um, so I've got my Kiko Milano. So I've got the colour... Okay, I don't know the numbers. I think this says like 19 and this one has disappeared. But I've got two Kiko Milano lip glosses. So I'm going to apply um, the nude one first. And he applied it in a specific way. He's just... He calls this tip alert. Okay. And he just goes in with the tip. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of shimmer on. Okay, he's going in with the brows first. Okay, this is the problem I have. He's using powder for the brows. And I will try it, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to just use pencil. This is literally like completely different to how I usually do my eyebrows. I like my eyebrows very defined, very defined, like... He's shimmering the freaking eyebrows, bro. How do you shimmer eyebrows? How can okay. I'm gonna DIY this? So I'm gonna take one of my eyebrow brushes. I'm gonna spray it with water and then put it on my highlighter. Oh, but I just don't wanna go OTT today. I'm an OTT person, you know, you try to do something subtly and it won't even okay. It's working. Okay. I like what that did. I like very lost. But we're going to find our way. So this is first of all, I'm just going to just put a base down. I was talking about this before that really you can use that one brush if you're just doing a very easy look in a few different colors and you just get a lot of mileage out of it. So what I do with this, just so you guys can, I don't know if you can see this or if it helps, I almost work it in a circle. Now, still one color. I just want to keep reminding everybody. Wow. The talent is in the brush. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a lighter beigeier color, just going right underneath the eye. I'm just so like amazed. This, you know, I do my makeup one way, and then when you have somebody else do this. So he's applying mascara. Oh, so guys, I'm wearing um, shout out Tati Lashes. I'm wearing Tati Lashes today for this video. Um, I am a 25mm lash kind of girl, but I'm trying to break out of that habit. Um, I wear shorter lashes. So today is the beginning of that. finished just took powder to kind of just like re blend everything like, like. oh 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 my god I 
pull the neck muscle. God. Oh my goodness, how can that happen? Yo, I take us again. Fall like your limb. Yeah. Girl, you know if you do your thing, you know follow back on nothing Have the wine that you bust it like a gun So guys, this is the finished look um, How do I feel about it? I like it I genuinely like it, I feel like the only thing I don't like about it is the eyebrows And um, just because I'm picky, I like it to be, you know, snatched to the girls Very, you know But Considering I feel like it's good, considering where we started from, <laughs> considering the journey, <laughs> we've arrived. We finally got here. I like the glowy look. I feel like it was very glowy, very shimmery, very holiday summery kind of vibe. And I love that. I adore that. It's something I've actually been looking for. So I feel like I'm definitely, definitely going to take like some tips from him. And definitely apply it to my makeup look to change it up a bit and add some like versatility to my look to be honest because I'm tired of that constant matte my normal routine even though it looks good I just you know you want to try something new um, I would just say the eyebrows are a no and I definitely need a little bit of foundation underneath where we highlight like it's just it's just necessary it's just necessary honey um, I prefer the way I contour my nose, in all honesty. Um, but I love the lips, I love the base, I love the blending, I love the chest. I just, I, I, I genuinely like it. Um, I would just mix it in with my current routine because that's just kind of just what works for me. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like, please subscribe, please comment down below. And please share this video, share with your family, share with your friends. Let them know about some of those vlogs. Um, yeah, I, enjoy, I actually enjoyed filming this video. It was a little bit of fun. Um, let me know what other videos you would like me to bring out for you guys. Love you guys so much. So for me see another place, one in a million. Like the girl when named Christina Million. So for me see they can't stay in a jacket and dress, can't lie, yeah, she a fi give me so.